Yo, what's going on everybody? TK Gamer, welcome back to another NBA 2K17 My Jam episode with the Dallas Mavericks. And in today's video, we're coming off our first game against the Utah Jazz, and we played pretty well. We got the W, we came out against a great Western Conference team that literally has a great roster, and uh... As you guys see, Avery Bradley 20 points, Zubox off the bench 18, Hassan Whiteside 15 and 10. But the big thing, Dirk Nowitzki 8.6 rebounds, and then Marquise Morris had 15.7 rebounds while shooting 7 for 12 from the field, and then 50% from three. So that is going to be the match we're going to be watching all season long to see which one takes over that spot. But the big thing I saw was when Marcus Marquise Morris was in the game. The team kind of slowed down. The team lost their momentum, but when Dirk came in the game, everything ran so much smoothly. He ran well with Avery Bradley. He ran well with Dennis Smith. And then the new guy, Miles Bridges, he ran really well with him. It seemed like they were all relying on Dirk, and Dirk would hit those big shots. Dirk would run up and down the floor. Even though he's in his later years of his career, he's playing better than Marquise Morris in limited minutes. So I think Dirk Nowitzki is going to be our starting power forward going forward. But the thing, big thing is we're going to have to trade Marquise Morris. We brought him in last season. He didn't shoot the ball. We brought him in just to be a shooter, stretch out the floor, maybe even take that role from Dirk Nowitzki when Dirk um, maybe needed time to come off the bench. Um, so I think we're going to be trying to find a trade for Markeith Morris for possibly another backup power forward, but this time someone that we know that can shoot the ball. And uh, as you guys see, Allen Williams, Mo Williams, not a bad deal. Greg Monroe, I pretty like that deal, but this Jeremy Grant and Justin Holiday deal, okay. We got Jeremy Grant, who use him as a defender. Justin Holiday, we basically we just do this trade for him because he can shoot the ball pretty well but we're not really looking for a shooting guard um marcus morris we could trade him um these two brothers for each other um marcus morris is going to give you better shooting but he's not going to score that ball as well he's going to score around eight points a game not the better rebounders so that wouldn't be really that good of a trade unless we're looking for really shooting cali Olenek, not a bad option to shoot the ball zach randolph okay courtney lee evan fournier Okay, that's not a bad deal. Thaddeus Young. I literally like this Corey Joseph deal. Um, but I don't know. Who's our backup point guard? Is Jerry Jack. So that wouldn't be a bad option. But we're trying to basically trade Marquis Morris for another power forward. But this time, someone who can shoot. But we're also looking for a backup small forward because Miles Bridges is the only small forward basically on this team unless we run someone else like... Um, Gerald Henderson at the small forward position. So we're going to have to try to go out and also find a trade for a small forward. A guy that I have in mind is probably like a Nick Batum, a Larry Nance. But also someone that can basically give you everything. And there's also one player, Robert Covington. That guy on a really cheap contract that they might be able to give up pretty easily. That we can maybe steal with a couple draft picks. Maybe a couple players. Even throw Marquis Morris in there. And then maybe make another possible trade for a power forward. Um, Wilson Chandler, a guy that doesn't get nearly as much. But let's see what they want for him. They want to sound white side straight up for a couple more picks for Wilson Chandler. Just a ridiculous trade offer right there. But right here, Robert Covington, a guy that's on a really cheap contract, plays both ends of the court, can rebound the ball, can score the ball, and can pass the ball. Basically, a great player, even a mentor, a guy like Miles Bridges, who might not be ready to start in his first year. As right, we're just going to go straight in. Markeith Morris for Robert Covington, but they don't want to do it. We're going to throw in a second round pick, two second round picks, and the Philadelphia 76ers gave him up. So we get Robin Covington. We're not sure if we're going to start him or Miles Bridges. I like Covington at the small four. It's starting right now. I don't know if Miles Bridges is ready to take over that starting small forward position because he's going to give you those 13 points. He still hasn't found himself on the defensive side when Robert Covington is obviously a great defender. He could shoot the ball, basically a small forward that we definitely needed that we probably would have had to make down the line, but we're getting it straight out of the way. But right now, power forward. We're going to take a look at the free agency market. No one there. We could take Jordan Mickey, but he's basically not going to progress into the player that we need. So we're going to go after a power forward special. Stretch power for we don't care if they rebound. We got a song lights out. We got Dirk Nowitzki, both guys that can rebound the ball. We're looking for someone that can stretch out the floor. So we kind of are messing around here. Julius Randle, we could bring him in, young asset, but next year we're gonna have to give him that max contract, which we probably won't want to do. So the only thing we're gonna have to do with Julius Randle, if we got him, was trade him in the offseason, but really not what we're looking for. Looking for a guy that can stretch out the floor, like I said, he's on a relatively cheap contract and then can play a bunch of minutes off the bench because. Dirk Nowitzki, he's going to need a lot of time off the court. He's not going to be playing those 35 minutes a game. More, He's going to play 25 minutes, but give you that starting um, caliber But here we are. We're going to actually just look for all the decent three-point shooters. 
And uh, as you guys see, Jabari Parker, probably not going to get him. Marketing, uh, Jarrell Arthur, Kristaps Porzingis, guys. I like Jared Dudley, but he's not going to be able to play that power forward. Nicholas Miritich, they want Seth or Yogi Farrell. Not trying to give that up. And then um, Irsan Ali Silva, but Shannon Fry, a guy that doesn't get any minutes on the Cleveland Cowboys, one of the best stretch fours, can still shoot the ball. And I'm not going to ask Shannon Fry to play as many minutes. But this was a really good deal for us. Obviously, Shannon Fry is up there in his age. Also with Dirk Nowitzki, two guys are not going to be playing 35 minutes a game. But both guys can switch off and basically play the same style of play, which we like. We like that high-tempo basketball. We like guys to shoot the basketball. And I think Shannon Fry gives us that. But next thing we need to take care of is... um. Jared Jack. So Jared Jack is a guy that we got in free agency, a guy that we gave a second thing to because obviously he hasn't been in the league for a couple years. So we decided to bring him in, but we have Yogi Ferro. I don't like Jared Jack playing the shooting guard position. We have Gerald Henderson, who I'm probably going to give minutes to. He can shoot the ball 35% from three. He's going to give you those three-point stats. But basically all we need is to get a backup point guard or even run Yogi Ferro at the two, which I don't really like. But we're going to run Gerald Henderson at the two, and then we're going to run um yogi farrell at the one so that gives us some complimentary instead of running two guards at the position both guys don't want to handle the ball but can't since jared jack can really can't really shoot yogi farrell hasn't really developed a shot quite yet but this is what our team's looking like right now it's looking pretty good with dennis smith miles bridges we're kind of interesting to see if we want to trade miles bridges obviously it's so young in his career to trade him but he's probably the only guy that we want to trade that has the highest trade value we could go out and get a guy maybe throw in him in a package with tons of first round picks maybe get a high quality player an all-star like gordon hayward or a i don't know we could get maybe a devin booker or something like that someone that's kind of proven while we give up miles bridges maybe a team that's trying to re rebuild but as you guys see we don't he doesn't nearly have enough trade value to trade him for the right assets um i wouldn't take mind getting someone like a devin booker that might be in the future or even get someone like a jay crowder and other players also included. So we're not going to make any more trades. This is what our starting lineup is going to be looking like going into um, next next uh, game. And uh, hopefully we can get the win. So thank you guys for watching Video Boy T Gamer. Tommy to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.